Hey guys, Kyle Bosberg with Master's Choice. I thought we'd spend a little bit of time today talking about insect pressures in your corn silage. It's the first week of July, so now is the time to get out and start looking for some of those flying pests. Um, as we get into silk and into the pollinations, you'll start to see um, some Japanese beetle pressure, possibly some corn rootworm beetle pressure, um, and you've probably scouted maybe a little bit with your agronomist uh, for corn borer pressure. Um, while we've talked about fungicide use and application around this time, you can also tank mix an insecticide application um, to cover some of those pests, especially if you're in a high corn rootworm area. Uh, breaking that cycle by using a, an insecticide application to stop some of those corn rootworm beetles can be extremely helpful right now. Um, it doesn't take long for a population of insects to do significant damage to ear fill, um, especially when we're talking about uh, silk clipping and corn rootworm beetles, uh, be it maybe corn earworm and or western bean cutworm. Um, so now is the time to be out looking at your hybrids, walking your fields, understanding your insect pest threshold, uh, working through your IPM and deciding whether or not you also need to add some insecticide application um, to your mix of, of fungicide um, in July and maybe into August. So right now is the best time. If you have any questions at all um, about properly understanding and diagnosing different insects and pests, um, feel free to call us here at the office. We'd be more than happy to talk through some of that with you and also try to build and decide on a plan to help in your corn silage hybrids. Thanks.